Okay, everybody, so we're going to end things on a bit of a lighter note, at least try to. Uh, I know everything is going on in the world right now. We just talked about that god-awful story, but let's talk about something that's a bit more cute, a bit more cuddly. Uh, the, the fact that apparently we are getting a Robocon film in 2020, perhaps? Uh, this is very strange. So this was on April 1st, initially, this was talked about. And of course, it's April 1st, so understandably, people were wary of this news. Apparently, uh, there was talk of Toei reviving this character who we haven't seen in 20 years. And the new film was going to be called Kambare Rewa Robocon. Rewa, I assume, being in there because of the Rewa era. Uh, so maybe it's just, you know, like, uh, you can do it, Rewa, because, you know, this, if you don't know, Robocon is for kids. I, I think if you're watching this on the uh, YouTube channel, you can see some of the pictures from the older Robocon, and you can see, yes, this is made for a much younger audience, even though, of course, Super Sentai and Kamen Rider do have children in mind and are made for kids, still, they do try to skew some stuff for the parents watching at home. It's much different than something, I believe, in my opinion, than from what I've seen from Robocon, where I feel like Robocon is much more like, at least from what I've seen, like, kind of like the Barney, if you will, um, again, just by his design and, and some stuff that I've seen in the past. But either way, um, sorry for all of you Robocon fans out there. I'm not knocking you. I loved Barney as a kid. But either way, uh, obviously, people were sitting here looking at this news of this new Robocon film, and they were thinking, nah, it's April 1st. I know what this is. I know what this is all about. But interestingly enough, uh, this article was released in mid-May. Apparently, there, uh, according to a Twitter account called at Trademark Bot, there has been an official trademark by Toei that actually includes toys, dolls, and games, which most likely is, you know, is assuming that if they're going to be ramping all this stuff up to promote something, they're going to be promoting a film. And so uh, you would think a TV show, but for some reason a film. Now, uh, again, there's, you know, at the time in this article, it says there's no question that this film will be released on July 31st. I think there is a huge question about that due to everything that's going on in the world right now, but may maybe, but I'm going to assume that it won't be coming out July 31st. Um, maybe in, if there's a vaccine, maybe in the fall, but I highly doubt that it'll be coming out July 31st. Although, hey, I, I was wrong with, you know, with, um, with Kamen Rider and Super Sentai. Seemingly, it's already back in production. I talked about that earlier in the episode, if you're just tuning into these clips on our YouTube channel, Toku Dragon. But, yeah, I, I'm under the impression that this is not coming out July 31st. Um, especially because it's a movie, which means that it has to go to theaters. Now, if it's one of those, uh, direct-to-DVD, uh, film features situations uh i can't think of the word right now because i'm like ovas but no that's animated video usually um so either way though if it's a straight to dvd film then yes of course they will come out july 31st i i don't doubt that if you know it's all said and done if the whole production is done if they can get those discs out in time i'm sure it'll come out july 31st but if it's meant to be screened in theaters nah i i definitely uh doubt that highly what I'm wondering, though, is, uh, is this going to be like other other more recent adaptations of older heroes where they end up getting like this kind of uh, upgrade, this new look to them or this kind of uh, this kind of pizzazz, this little edgy feel to them, uh, just a bit more gritty. Like, are we getting out of Robocon? It's going to look a little bit more maybe like the uh, the, the mechanical violator head kiter. Um, are we gonna are we gonna be getting that? Just boo, 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 boo. I wish to show you love through bullets. Uh, are we going to? I don't know. I don't know what that was. But what I I have. By the way, for any of you that are like, that's not what uh, Hakider does. I haven't seen the movie. Uh, for some of you that are like, that is what Hakider does. I've only seen a trailer, so I guess I was right. I don't know if I'm right or wrong. What I do know is I'm assuming this is not going to take a grittier feel. Uh, that is a joke. This is uh that 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 is humor. I'm not serious about that. Um, I'm not really a big fan of the whole you know trying to, uh, make you know, movies and TV shows, we gotta make them edgy, so we gotta make them, you know, we can't put any depth into characters, we have to murder things, I'm not really a big fan of that, so hopefully, uh, you know, this is just some cute little thing for some people in Japan who have some nostalgia, and for some kids at home who need some, you know, who obviously <laughs> need some levity right now, uh, with everything going on in the world, um, I don't know how J Japanese kids are faring compared to U.S. kids, but I believe they were, got, like, huge packets, uh, at home, and their parents actually had to teach them from home, I don't believe they had zoom calls like they do in the u.s uh maybe for some districts but i was under the impression that for some they literally just got huge stacks of paper and they were like hey teach your kids and i'm assuming some of these parents were like i have to work from home 
and I have to now teach my kid. Great. So yeah, just very, very interesting stuff uh, when it comes to when it comes to Robocon. Is this going to happen? I think that it will because I don't know if they're just going to release a toy line and especially this, you know, toys, dolls and games and not have any kind of, um, you know, movie or show attached to it. But again, not not July 31st. No, uh, if you disagree with me, though, or you agree with me, comment down below. I want to hear what you have to say. And uh, like I said, at the beginning of this episode, it's a very short episode of Toku Station. But either way, thank you all so much for watching and listening in as always again, watching through our Toku Dragon channel or listening in through our Podbean, which is those guys on the radio. Love you all. Take care and tune in next time for another episode of Toku Station. So see ya.